So I'm going to work on some more of these job block PlayStation 5s that I've been working on. I'm on board 10. This is board number 10. I've done the rest of them as a video, but to be honest, I'm rapidly running out of parts and I need I need to start getting some of the getting these piled down a little bit. So for anyone watching this back as a video, I'm live streaming this on Twitch. You can check me out, twitch.tv forward slash the at 2015. Links are in the video descriptions. But basically, this is board number 10 out of the job lot of 15 PS5s I bought. The rest are all in a playlist on YouTube. And I did do a little bit of work to this the other day, but then, unfortunately, when we had a thunderstorm, my power went out. And I lost the footage because I was recording an MP4 on, uh, <coughs> on the PC. Um, but all I'd done to it was changed the HDMI port because this has got no display. So I changed the HDMI port, it didn't fix it, and then my power went out and I lost the footage. Uh, it corrupted, unfortunately. So that was before I installed my UPS. Oh. Okay. Why has that suddenly gone two second blood? That wasn't two second blood the other day when I was working on it. Hmm. I've had some liquid metal spill. Okay, that's a bit weird because it wasn't two second blood the other day. This was just. It was, a stand, it was a standard no display the other day. Can't remember if I changed the HDMI encoder. I'm sure I didn't, but I can't remember. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Today, as the world's leading PCB manufacturer, and I can say that with absolute conviction because I've used their services myself. What's more, if you use my exclusive coupon code, you can get $10 off orders of $40 or more. But time is of the essence and this deal won't last long. So get your project started today. PCBWay offers single and multi-layer PCB fabrication, as well as flexible PCBs, 3D printing, CNC machining, injection molding, and much more. You can take your idea from just an idea to a fully fledged product, all with PCBWay and their wide variety of services that have been designed to help make creating projects and products as easy as possible. If that's not enough, they're giving everyone the chance to win one of eight cool prizes until the 30th of June 2023. So make sure you check that out over on the website. I'll pin a comment right down below and in the video description where you can use my exclusive discount code and take advantage of what PCBWay have to offer. So I'd like to wish PCBWay a very happy ninth birthday and a huge thank you for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to watching that idiot try and fix something. So why is it now suddenly a two second blot? Unless it's got liquid metal somewhere. Let's just have a look at this under the microscope then because that's a bit strange. Yeah, so you can see I changed the HDMI port. But... Yeah, for some reason now it's a two second blood and I'm not sure why. No, nope, there's no liquid metal spill. Has the Rogue PS5 arrived? Yeah, it has, yeah. I'm going to do a video on that. 20.32 FPS, what? Why is my... You know what, I think I'm going to have to end my stream and change the settings, guys. Um, something's wrong with my settings. Yeah, you know, more lag on the camera, there you go. Uh, right, what the hell is wrong with you? Um, has the encoder actually gone bad? Because this had no display the other day, which is, I don't know, it's really weird. But yeah, I lost the footage for the HDMI swap, but all I did was swap the HDMI, so. No, that's, that's showing up as good. Right, so I think I'm going to change the encoder anyway on this, because it had no display, but now for some weird reason it's two second blood. But... The encoder can cause two second blood. It is fairly common. So I'm going to change that and see if it solves it. Uh, actually, I should probably check for some shorts first and just hunt around a little bit instead of just going straight for the encoder. You know, it could it could just be a coincidence that something else has failed um, when I lost power. So I'm going to hunt for shorts.
sanity check. If I don't hear it beep for a while, I always just touch ground and just see if we, uh, if the if the multimeter is actually working, just to make sure. Yeah, that seems normal. Kind of strange how these have just randomly decided to die. But then, it is a PS5 after all. Uh, you can't even see. We tell you, fucking legend. Thank you, dude. Fifteen five subs. Really appreciate that, mate. Thank you, buddy. Right. I'm not finding any shorts there. Do be do 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 do. Yeah, I'm not really finding any shorts. Oh. Okay, a cap's been knocked off. I don't think that would cause a two second blood. 43 ohms, that's fine. It's low impedance, this line is. Yeah, I, don't think for, I don't think that cap would cause a blood, to be honest. I, mean, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but it's doubtful. Hmm. I mean, I can put that cap back on and just see if it. Damn it, see if it makes a difference. Or rather replace that cap. Just see if it makes a difference. I think I'm gonna do that. It's the only thing that I've found is that cap being missing. I doubt very much that's gonna cause back at uh, back A, hey, fuck off. I doubt very much that's going to cause a blood, but we'll see. All right, let's just see if this turns on. Nope. All right, so that's not that's not working. Um, it it wasn't that cap. I didn't think it would be, but I couldn't justify just changing the encoder. But to be honest, with this one, because it's got the display issue as well, and the fact that I mean these realistically are donor boards. If changing the encoder doesn't fix it, there's no other shorts on the board, so I'm not going to sit there and replace a shitload of components trying to fix it. If replacing this encoder now doesn't fix it, then I'm not going to go any further with it. I'm just going to write the board off. I do need a dig digital board to sell to a customer. I've got a customer waiting for one, but unfortunately, I can't spend hours and hours on each device just to try and get a scrap board working. This encoder I know works. I was gonna buy Gootwick, wasn't sure if it's genuine, but Philly's selling it, so it takes out the guesswork. Yeah, the stuff that I the stuff that I've got in the store is genuine. Yeah, hundred percent. Scrubby, thank you, mate. I really appreciate that, buddy. Thank you for subbing subbing with Prime, mate. I bought from Phil, and it's definitely genuine. Yeah, hundred percent. It's the same supply. The same supplier. Um. The same supplier. It's directly from the people who make Gootwick or the company that make Gootwick. And I've used the same supply, same supplier for five years. Um, and I buy like 100 reels at a time. You're friendly money grabbing YouTubers grabbing my money. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Appreciate it. Right, let's give that a whirl, shall we? Right, let's give this a test, shall we? So yeah, if these don't work now, I think I'm just gonna donor board this, to be honest, because 
It's just not worth trying to fix it. It's developed to run if it's developed to random fault as well. No. Damn it. Damn it, that sucks. I think it's probably best to just downboard this because it's developed another random fault and it had no display anyway. Um I just don't know how it could possibly have developed that two second blood. That's very weird. Um something's happened when I've lost power and I'm not seeing any shorts. I'm not gonna sit here and keep swapping random chips. It's really pointless. Uh I could change the south bridge, but again, I just don't think it's worth it. I think I should just down aboard it and then I can sell the parts off it. So unfortunately, yet another no fix. But these are scrap boards anyway, so yeah, I mean, not really going to lose any money. It's one of them things.